How Animals Talk by Susan McGrath Wolves howl and yap and growl. A coyote lifts its head and howls. Wolves and coyotes don't use words, but they do send messages with sounds and smells and in other ways. All animals tell each other things. They communicate. An angry wolf raises its back and walks with its legs stiff. With its body, the wolf shows other wolves what it is feeling. A wolf sniffs the snow for smells left by other wolves. A male deer rubs against a tree, leaving his smell there. The smell tells other deer, Stay away from here. Animals don't talk as we do, but they have many different ways of communicating with each other. Three white-tailed deer flick their tails up as they race across a stream. The snowy white tails alert other deer to danger. The signal means, Run! Follow me! A little pika communicates danger, too. It calls out a loud warning, Eek! Other pikas run to safety. Crack! Two bull elk crash horns. Which one of us is the boss? They communicate to each other. Let's see which one is stronger. Two arctic hares send the same message. The large, woolly hares jump up and hit at each other with their paws. Insects also communicate. A praying mantis makes itself look as big as it can. This is a warning that says, Better leave me alone. Even a caterpillar has things to say. This swallowtail caterpillar can give off a bad smell that helps keep enemies away. The light of the male firefly says, Here I am. To a female passing by, his signal says, Come over here. The male spider, the smaller of these two, walks carefully on the female spider's web. I am your kind of spider, not your food, his steps say. Then she lets him come in. The red shape on her belly tells us that she is a poisonous black widow spider. Three baby robins open their mouths wide for a meal of worms. Feed me! The open mouth signal, feed me, feed me. Barn swallows chatter on a branch. Chinstrap penguins seem to have a lot to say. But no one knows just what the birds are saying. We can only guess. What do you think they are talking about? Big birds called albatrosses are getting to know each other. They clap their bills and move around. These birds are also called goonie birds. A male goonie bird dances for his mate. He twists his wings and bows his head. Will you be my mate? His dance says. Yes, I'll be your mate, she lets him know. After a while, he hugs her with his neck. Two male elephant seals rise up in a crowd of females. The males, called bulls, snort and roar through their big noses. This group is mine, one bull roars. No, no, it is mine, the other roars. The females don't seem to notice all the noise. Even under the sea, animals communicate with each other. Three humpback whales, 
a baby, a female, and a male are swimming along together. The male sings a loud song. Here I am, says his song. A beluga whale chirps and clicks. It sounds made sailors think of a songbird. They used to call the beluga the canary of the sea. Two sea mammals called manatees meet and touch whiskers underwater. Manatees often kiss like this when they greet each other. They also chirp and squeal. Who ever would have thought that animals could have so much to say? On the ground, in the air, and under the water, they are sending signals. An older female grooms the hair of a young chimpanzee. She picks out pieces of dry skin with her fingers. Chimpanzees often comfort each other by grooming. I like you, their touch says. A young owl pecks an adult, begging to be fed. All animals communicate using sight, sound, touch, and smell. Next time you see birds, or squirrels, or cats, or dogs, watch them closely. What do they have to say?